Captain America Civil War is a new Marvel Cinematic Universe movie about Robert Townsend, who is a captain on the USS Essex during the American Civil War. Kind of a ballsy move for Marvel to make. Captain America Civil War is the newest movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Returning as directors from Captain America the Winter Soldier are the Russo brothers. And you can definitely tell, especially in the opening. In the beginning of the movie, it, it feels more kind of like a spy movie, almost like a Mission Impossible or to some degree a Bourne movie. It very much keeps the vibe from Captain America the Winter Soldier. Because of the events that transpire at the beginning of this movie and the end of Age of Ultron, there are several countries that want to get together and not only have oversight on the Avengers, but also to a degree control the Avengers. Within the Avengers, there are several that are for it and against it. Most notably, Captain America is against it and Iron Man is for it. And that's the central conflict of the movie. What's nice about this is the seeds for this were kind of planted in the previous Avengers films. Captain America and Iron Man don't really get along all the time and they've kind of been at each other's throats a couple of times. So because of that history, it, it makes even more sense that it would come to a head in this movie. Another good thing about the story is they don't just use that one thing. It's not like they just say, hey, I don't want to sign this, and hey, I want to sign this, and they just fight over that. There's more to it. They let it build up longer than that. It's not just right away, let's go after each other. It builds up over a couple of different events in the movie and then comes to a head, and it feels that much more satisfying and justified because of it. You understand both sides. Iron Man's not really the bad guy, and neither is Captain America. I personally was more on Captain America's side, but I could absolutely see somebody being on Iron Man's side. It makes sense. He's not crazy. Uh, he has valid points, as well as Cap. Being that there's so many characters in the movie, it's really amazing that the Russo brothers were able to balance everybody, and they really did it. There are some characters that show up later on, but they don't feel shortchanged. They feel like they were used the right amount, and because of the previous films that they had been in, it's not like you need to be reintroduced to them. You already know the characters that they are, and to some degree, their motivations. So it makes them able to streamline having these characters in the movie. There are two new superheroes in the movie. One is Black Panther, played by Chadwick Boseman, and he is, is more of a central figure. I like him in the movie, and they gave you just enough information to understand where he's coming from and his motivations, and enough to also tease. Like, you want to see him in his own movie. You want to see his own world and kind of what his powers are, where he got his suit from, the overall kind of story that he would have. You want to see that, and this movie gives you a nice taste of it, but does leave you wanting more in a good way. The other superhero introduced is Spider-Man, played by Tom Holland. And just based on this movie, he might be the best Spider-Man we've had yet. It's kind of hard to say that with any level of certainty without having a full movie under his belt and really being able to show like the dramatic parts to the character as well as the funny, but he brought the funny. Uh, he was charismatic and funny and believable as a teenager uh, being Spider-Man. Unlike the previous two actors that played Spider-Man, he is 19 years old. He's not even in his 20s yet. Both Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield were in their mid to late 20s when they became Spider-Man, so it's a bit of a different take on the character and more really true to the comics. Some of the best lines in the movie come from him. He is a wise ass like he was in the comics, and he kind of steals the show in every scene he's in. As I mentioned before, Spider-Man makes a lot of jokes in the movie, and the interactions he has with the characters are great, and kind of the interactions everybody has together are great. Vision's interactions with the other characters are often hilarious. Captain America also has some great interactions with both Falcon and the Winter Soldier. This movie is often funny, and funnier than I really expected it to be, and not in a way that takes away from the characters or the story, but it's executed pretty much perfectly. It never overwhelms anything, it never, you never think you're watching a comedy, but it's just put in there in just the right spots. The fighting in the movie is also choreographed and shot very well. Uh, from the opening of the movie where it's much smaller scale and more like hand-to-hand -hand close combat to the end of the movie, the big fight with everybody going against each other in the airport, and that is just kind of this big spread out battle and 
it's really done, it's shot amazingly. Everything makes sense in it. There's not like characters where, you know, they were in this spot and all of a sudden they're in this spot because they didn't edit it well. Everybody seems to be where they should be and nobody really seems to just pop up like, where the hell did they come from? It all makes sense. They, they kind of kept the spacing right and kept track of the characters during the fight, which is really impressive. Also, when they went to the big fight between all the characters, they all kind of got to like have their moment to show what they can do. And it was really well balanced and a fun fight as well. Besides being surprisingly funny and really good at action, the movie also does kind of pull at your heartstrings. And, and it caught me off guard at a couple of times. Specifically one, actually. It, it surprised me with what they did with it. I didn't see it coming. And it served the story. It served the characters very well. And I really, really liked what they did there. I, I'm going to keep that as vague as that. The only real downside I can think of is that if you're not following the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you may be lost on some of the character interactions and some of the characters kind of in general. Beyond that, I can't really think of really anything to say negatively about it. Um, it's a very well done movie. So again, the movie has a great story, great motivations for the characters, great interactions, it's funny, and the action is really well shot. On the negative side, if you're not following the, you know, the series, you might be a little lost at points. Captain America Civil War is rated A+. So being that there are now 13 movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, name your favorite movie in the MCU. My favorite movie might very well be Captain America Civil War, but being that I just saw it a couple of hours ago, I don't want to say that just yet. So I'm going to go with the original Iron Man. It's got a great soundtrack, it's got some great direction by Jon Favreau, and Robert Downey Jr. just owns the role. And of course, that movie also launched the entire cinematic universe. Without that movie being as good as it was, we would not have Captain America Civil War. So again, name your favorite movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Make your mark below in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. On the downside, there it, it's kind of hard. Unlike the previous two Spider-Men, there are two new characters. There are two new Avengers in the movie. One is there. There are two new Avengers in the movie. One is played by Chadwick Boseman, and there are two new character. There are two new Avengers in the movie. One is there are two new. There are two new Avengers in the movie. One is. There are two new superheroes in the movie. One is... There are two new superheroes in the movie. One is the Black... There are two new... Within the Avengers, there are several different... Within the Avengers... Cinco de Mayo. The only day I'll ever drink Corona. Because it's... It's terrible. Yummy.